what's going on guys let's do this problem right here the question is asking three capacitors with capacitances c1 is equal to 4 microfarad c2 is equal to 3 microfarad and c3 is equal to 2 microfarad are connected to a 12 voltage source as shown in the figure what are the charges on capacitor c1 and c2 right so let's see how we can figure this one out so first of all to find this one out we have to find the equivalent capacitor for the whole whole thing right so let's see how we can find this so the given information is c1 is equal to 4 microfarad and c2 is equal to 3 microfarad and then c3 is equal to 2 microfarad so these are the information that's provided also they have provided the whole voltage that is 12 voltage right so let's find out the equivalent capacitor so the first thing we are going to do is uh, we are going to combine these two parallel capacitors into one to do that so whenever the capacitors are in parallel we just add them together so here the c2 3 is going to be equal to c2 plus c3 we know that c2 is equal to 3 microfarad and c3 is equal to 2 microfarad if we add them that's going to give us 5 microfarad so that's going to be the equivalent capacitor of these two now let's draw the new capacitor diagram so here we are going to have c1 with uh, 4 microfarad and if we draw the new diagram for c2 and c3 that's that's combined together that's 5 microfarad and that is equal to c2 3 right now we have everything in series so whenever we have capacitors in series we choose a different approach right like 1 over c equivalent now let's go ahead and write uh, this is c1 right c1 c2 c3 so we are trying to combine them together we can write this one as c1 2 3 and that's equal to 1 over c1 plus 1 over c2 3 now let's find this one out so 1 over c1 is going to be 1 over 4 plus c2 3 is 5 microfarad so this is going to be 1 over 5 and the common denominator for this one is going to be 20 and here we are going to have 5 plus 4 that's going to give us 9 over 20 now 9 over 20 is equal to 1 over c2 c123 now we have to find out c123 so we just have to flip this one right so the answer for this one is going to be c123 is equal to 20 over 9 if you divide that you will get 2.22 microfarad so that's going to be the equivalent capacitor for the whole diagram now let's go ahead and draw that one so this is going to be 2.22 microfarad and that's equal to c123 so that's going to be the whole thing now we have found out the entire equivalent capacitor now let's see how we can find the charge for this one to find the charge we have this equation q is equal to cv right q is equal to cv we have the capacitance already we have the capacitance already and we have all we have the voltage also here right 12 voltage so to find this one find the charge we just have to multiply both of them so q is equal to cv q is equal to 2 times i mean 2.2 times 2 microfarad times 12 voltage and that's going to give us let's see yeah if you multiply them that's going to give us 26.66 micro coulomb so this is going to be the charge for entire thing now let's go ahead and separate each of them individually and see what's going to happen to this charge so first of all we got this one c123 from these two combination right so let's separate them again so here if I separate them again now this is a C1 and this is C23 both of them are in series so whenever we have series combination series capacitors the charge is going to be equal in all, equal in each capacitors right so if this is 26.6 C1 is going to be 26.66 and also C23 is also going to be 20 6.66 so this answers one of the question the question asking what are the charges on capacitor c1 and c2 we found out the c1 already 
So let's write this one separately. C1 is equal to 26.66. So this is one of the answer. Let's see how we can find the C2. So now we have C23 that is equal to 26.66 micro coulomb. Actually the correct term is uh, Q23. We are writing the charges, right? So this is Q23, this is Q1. Q1 and let's uh, separate this one into two parts. Q23 were parallel before. So let's separate this one, this one as parallel. So here we are going to have C2 in parallel and then C3 in parallel, right? So now we know that uh, this is the charge C23 had. Let's calculate the voltage during this situation. So to find the voltage, we use the same equation. Q is equal to CV. CV, now V is equal to Q over C, right? And we know the C, uh, C23 already, that is C2, C23 is 5 microfarad. So let's box this one. 5 microfarad, that's the one we are going to use. Because we want to find the voltage and then we, we, we have to know how the voltage is going to separate. So if we find this one out, we can then figure it out, right? So let's find this voltage for Q23. So Q23 is charge we already know. This is, I'm trying to find V23 voltage. So Q23 we already know that is 26.66. And then uh, that's micro coulomb. And in the denominator we have capacitor, so C23. C23 we work still right here, that's 5 microfarad. So this is 26.66 divided by 5 microfarad. And if you divide this one, that's going to give you 5.33 volt. So if this is 5.33 volt, if V23 is equal to 5.33 volt, this C2 and C3, if you look at this, these are in parallel. So whenever the voltage is potential difference in parallel, it's going to be equal. So that's the condition. So therefore the voltage at 2 is going to be equal to voltage at 3. And V23 is separated like that. So V23 is going to be equal to V2 and V3, right? Therefore we can say at V2 also it's 5.33 voltage and V3 also 5.33 voltage. So now we have found the voltage and we already know the capacitance, right? We already know the capacitance as C1 and we know the capacitance C2, C3. C3 is not the question, so we don't have to worry about that. We have to find the C2, that's, the, that's one of the question, right? So to find the charge at C2, we have the information, we have the voltage and also we have the, so we need capacitance and voltage, That's those are the things we need to calculate charges, right? So let's apply the same equation again. Q is equal to CV. Now I, I am trying to find everything in terms in terms of 2. So this is going to be Q2 is equal to C2 V2. Now C2 we already know that is equal to 3 microfarad. 3 microfarad multiplied by V2 that is 5.33 volt. 33 volt and if you multiply them together that's going to give you 15.99 micro coulomb and that's going to be the final answer so the question asking q1 and q2 we found out already q1 is equal to so this is q1 right here q1 is equal to 26.66 micro coulomb and then q2 is equal to 15.99 micro coulomb and that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.